In this example, we're going to be writing exponential decay models, or models that give us the halving time or half-life. So the 2000 U.S. Census reported the population of Tulsa, Oklahoma to be 382,872. So that was in 2000. So 2000 then is our starting year. Since that time, the population has been decreasing at approximately 2.6% per year. 2.6 is 0 0.026 as a decimal. Let's write an exponential decay model, P of T, that predicts the population of Tulsa, Oklahoma at any time, T. So we're going to use our generic exponential function model, and the pieces that we plug in will ensure that it is a decay model. Our A value is our starting population, which is 382,872. Our B value, because our population is decreasing, I need to subtract the rate of decrease as a decimal from 1. So that's going to be 1 minus 0 0.026 which is 0.974. To write my function then, using proper function notation, I write P of T equals 382,872, that's my A value. B is 0.974, and our exponent is T. So there is my function, and it is exponential decay because the B value is less than 1. Use the function you wrote for P of T to predict the population of Tulsa, Oklahoma in 2013. 2013 then, our T value that we're interested in, we're going to subtract 2000 because that was our starting year. So 13 years have passed. So we're going to evaluate our population decay function at an input of 13. If we do that, let's go ahead and plug that in. 382872 times 0.974 to the 13, and let's compute that on the calculator. 382872 parentheses point 974 parentheses and then exponent 13 then enter and of course we want to round to the nearest whole person so that's going to be 271844 so 271844 so let's write that as a complete sentence to say in 2013, Tulsa had 271,844 people.